Welcome to Simple Software University class number 103. In this one, we're going to talk a little bit about the pre indexing option in Simple Index, which allows you to run jobs uh, in kind of a full automatic mode. So let's fire up Simple Index here. And we're going to open a job. And in this case, we're going to take a look at one that's in the uh, invoice processing samples that come with Simple Index. And specifically, we're going to look at the read invoices with barcodes job. Now, in this one, You'll notice things are a little different on this screen. We, we don't have a save index button over here. We have a save and run button. So that means that uh, we've gone into the index tab here and we've turned on this pre-index. So now when I run this job, just by clicking the run job button, it's going to load in all the documents. It's going to go through. It's going to identify all those barcodes and then it exports the files. We don't ever go to a verification screen where the users do any sort of data entry. It's completely automatic. And just for the sake of uh, example, let's take a look at this if we turned off the pre-index option. Exact same job, all we're doing is turning off pre-index option here. And when I hit run job, again, all the files are processed, barcodes are read automatically. But this time, we come back to the verification screen. So as the user, I could sit here and, and make any changes. Or if I'm happy with what I'm seeing here, I can either save index and go through the pages individually or save all and release the entire batch. So you can see pre-index gives you the option to do everything in a completely automatic fashion. So when you have jobs, especially with barcodes, this is really handy because there's rarely a need for the user to come in and do any sort of intervention. Now let's take this a step further. Let's assume we have a user who's, uh, you've got a filing cabinet and you want to go through and scan each of the folders in all those drawers and they're all going to have the same information applied to them. So let's open up a separate job here. We're going to go into read invoices with zone OCR. I'm going to make a couple of brief changes here. Instead of this being an OCR job, we're just going to assume that the users are entering this data. So we're going to change this one to list, and then we are going to turn on the pre-index option here. So now, when I go back to my main screen here, I can actually enter this information. And then on the company here, we'll choose it from a drop-down list. We'll say Firefly. And now what that lets me do, when I hit Save and Run here, it's going to go through, again, automatically process everything and just save out those files with all of this information applied automatically. So this is really handy when you've got to just do a, a, a kind of a one-off kind of job where, like, like that file folder example, where each one is going to have the same information applied to it. So you're just loading one folder on the scanner. You hit Save and Run. It scans everything. It indexes it. It saves it out. And you're done. And then lastly, I want to go back to that first job that we were running there and show you uh, one more piece that's kind of the height of automation here. What we can do is actually um, create a shortcut to this job out on our desktop. So we're going to go with this read invoices with barcodes. I'm going to drag this out onto the desktop and actually create a shortcut here. And then we'll just cancel out here. And I'm going to completely close out of Simple Index. We'll save our changes here. And now when I run this job, you'll notice that something kind of interesting happens. Simple Index will launch, and then the job's going to minimize down here to the taskbar, and it's going to do everything completely automatically and behind the scenes. So that whole job, everything we saw before with reading the barcodes, that all just happened without the user having to do anything at all other than double-clicking that icon. And this is powerful in two ways. One's what we just saw there, kind of the obvious. It gives you just this automatic step that makes it very simple for the users. And the other way that it's powerful is that you can actually launch these jobs from another program. For example, if you're working in a database and you need to scan some images, you could issue a call out to Simple Index from the, uh, from the command line, which is a feature we'll talk about in a later video. And then, again, that job would just happen in the background without the user really ever being aware that anything has gone on, and you get your, your files uh, where you need them. So that's it for Simple Index 103. Hope you've enjoyed it, and we'll talk to you in the next video.